The world is a chessboard on which we play a game that was never supposed to be fair, but still excites us with its numerous possibilities. When I was 16, my dad recommended that I should sign up for a chess club and learn how to play. So I went, and my level was only good enough to play against a bunch of 10-year-olds. What's even more humiliating was that I actually hard, had a hard time playing against them. So reasonably, I became skeptical of the game and thought that it was unfair. You know, on the chessboard, there's a king, a queen, rocks, bishops, knights, and pawns. Different pieces with different status and importance, possessing different capabilities. They stand in their strictly drawn little squares and line up accordingly to their value. And let's face it, it's the same in real life. Some of us matter, while some of us don't, at least not that much. Among the very first lines of the Declaration of Independence, this one goes, We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. What a beautiful line. But how can we convince ourselves that we are born equal while our ancestors didn't die equal? I hate to say this, but we do inherit most of the social capitals that get to decide what kind of a role we start with when we come to this world. However, the game still gets played for a reason. The board of 64 little squares is magical enough to create a stage for wonderful things to happen. In just the four, first four moves, there are 318 million different ways to play. And in a game between two equal players, there will be around 50 moves in total. And just think about how many moves we take in lifetime. I'll say countless. And no one is able to predict what's going to happen next, which I think is the true beauty of our world. And that just paints a silver lining, like a little soldier like you and me. Because with a little but sufficient ability to checkmate and win the game by planning out my tactics and encountering the coincidences along the way, I may somehow work my way up until the last rank and become a queen at the end of the game. The world is not fair, but it doesn't make it any less worthy of living. So go play with what you have, carefully, but boldly at the same time to unleash the unknown possibilities of life or change the game. Thank you.